welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl Magda Bakogeto. if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my youtube channel hit the notification button and keep a thumbs up so that every time maritaba post something you there to see it you know me i'm a youtube storyteller and i'm all about unspoken conversations so today's conversation it's a very 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 deep conversation i hope you guys are prepared to take your notebook and your pen because you are gonna need this if you want to make 2024 your beautiful successful year you're gonna need the tips that i have for you because they worked for me so as you know we are in the new year can you get it today 15 we are on the 15th day of the new year so you still have a chance it's still a new year it is still a new year and you can still build that new you you know people always say new year new me new year new me they but they don't really practice whatever that they what that mean so as today i come to help you how to grow the new year new me thing because the only way that 2024 is going to be your best year it's only if it's your best year spiritually because if it's not your best year spiritually child i'm telling you it's not 2023 and 2022 nothing's going to change you're still going to be broke you're still going to be broken you're still not going to heal for, from those traumas you're still not going to see progress in your life while well, the butcher was going on it's because you're not growing yourself spiritually so you know my is here to help you so so take your notepad and your pen and take notes down so please i took mine so don't mind me when i look down here are the notes that i've written for you guys that are gonna help us grow ourselves spiritually you know whether we like it or not life is very spiritual and everything that we do it's related to the spirit whether you decide to go wake up to for the fact that you've seen this video it's not um in the spirit we don't have such thing as a coincidence it's not a coincidence that you're you're seeing this video hence you must subscribe and hit that like button and it's never a coincidence that you came across my channel no it's not it's it's a thing so we must know we are spiritual being and we live in a spiritual world so our things for our things to go how about we need to grow spiritually so the first point that i have for you guys and i'm talking about a thing that helped me because background check story i'll do a story time one day and tell you everything that you need to know about me i'll do get to know me and you will know me better and how i got into my spirituality and how i grew in my spirituality i hope you're gonna like this video i'm all about unspoken conversations and here to plug you and how my girlies and my bros get their life back do not let the devil steal your destiny. So the first one is going back to the basis. By going back to the basis, I mean that you need to go back. Well, I'm raw, like you need to go back. Reflect on your life. By going to the basis, I mean sit down, reflect on your life. Look at what has happened in your life the patterns of the things that have happened if you can like if you can level out most incidents happen any patterns like for example if you have a problem in the relationship you always have partners who are cheating on you he's probably not the first partner not the second or not the third they're all cheated you know why because life works got pattern so you need to go back to the basics go back way before you started dating for what was the problem where did the problem start what happened for it to happen like that why is it my all my partners are cheating on me why is it like so you know what that's going back to the basics and if you really go back honestly this thing you must do it alone so that you can be honest with yourself because if you can gather your friends here you're gonna somehow you're gonna lie to yourself and for you to know a spiritual uh journey it's not a group journey it's not a friend's journey it's not a husband or girlfriend boyfriend's journey it has to be your journey alone please bear that in mind so going back to the basics i mean exactly that whatever that you want to change in your life by the year of 2024 you have to go back and check where did the problem start it's the first one going back to basics the second one is the word 
you know what i didn't understand why people were also you must read the word read the word read the word read the word i didn't get it but the more i got into reading the word i realized that it's it's a way it's one of the ways that god used to communicate with us that's why they say a bible it's not any just book it's not a novel it's not a what a bible is a spiritual book that you must pray first before you read the bible that's one thing you must you must pray first before you read the bible so that you can have the spiritual intelligence to read the bible and interpret it the way god has put them the messages in the bibles are not the same for us if you read uh the book of john i read the book of john you read the book of john it won't be the same the revelation that's gonna come out of it won't be the same so reading the word it's a way for you to grow yourself spiritually you have to read commit yourself to reading the word of the lord set an hour if you don't have time or even if you don't have time please create time Please create time to read the word of the Lord. Like, please create time to read the word of the Lord. We are now going just 30 minutes every day of your life. Pray for the first 10 minutes you pray. This, the last 20 minutes you read the word. The Bible, the Lord, the Holy Spirit will guide you to the right verse that is relevant to you. So if you want to grow yourself spiritually, baby, so read the word. Stop listening to people who are saying a Bible is a book. A Bible was written by someone. Those are just theories people want to create that the devil is using people. citing to the righteousness of the Lord. So the second point is read the word. Read your Bible. Take time. Invest in your Bible. Invest in reading the word of the Lord. Read the Bona, read the word. Be a word girl. You know me, Akachi. The third one is the most powerful one. The most powerful one. We all know it. It's prayer. Yeah. We always say prayer. Yeah. Pray, 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 pray. But prayer. There's prayer because you're just praying. I used to be one of those people who would just pray because what happened you are oh, but i'll just pray 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 and feel nothing and see nothing because if you are praying some things have to change if you are really praying for real some things has to change so there are some things there are some shiftments that must happen in your life to show that you are a praying woman you are a praying man praying it's very very important it, 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 Praying it is the key to a spiritual growth. I don't want to lie to you. And, <clears throat> sorry, praying. Not just any prayer. Pray in the spirit. I know. You know, I had the, I had the spirit, the, the fear of the unknown. I just realized a few weeks back that I'm suffering from the spirit of, uh, the, I mean, the fear of unknown. Like, when I pray, I just feel like, and people are just going to come and attack me. That's me being scared of praying in the spirit. You must pray in the spirit. When you pray in the spirit, listen to your prayers. Listen to your words. Listen, hear what you are asking and telling to the Lord. A prayer is a conversation between you and God. And that time, that that moment you are praying is very precious don't pray instagram or going through your instagram no prepare for your prayer set a time that's why mudimo in the verse he's saying get into your house shut your door go to your secret place and kneel and pray that was the scripture is saying to us it says get prayer is the key to spiritual growth and if you are a praying person there must be something about you when you talk you don't talk like someone you don't talk like every a praying woman is not like any other woman a praying man is not like any other woman any other man a praying businessman is not like any other businessman a career woman who prays it shows that you are a praying man. That's why I'm saying if you are praying right, some things have to shift. I don't know if you understand me, but some things need to shift. So pray as the key to grow your spirituality. Please don't forget this. Pray 
or the time seta nago and there are some special times to pray the, the spiritual realm start at nine o'clock to three o'clock so when it hits nine o'clock it is time to pray but please disclaimer we don't need time to pray to god we any time of the day he is always available to us he is always ready and available to all of us anytime he is ready to listen to us so don't say no you can do that but you pray any time of the day you get me you pray any time of the day the fourth one worship worship i know or it's not directed different Mama. i know we go to different churches but worshiping worshiping a worship warrior a worship warrior is not like any other warrior a worship warrior worship i mean now my ways of worshiping at singing i love to sing to my lord and i give him praise that's the time I give him praise and ask. If I have something that I'm asking from him, if I have something that I need from him, that's the time I wait and I say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, come, come, let's talk, come. That's the time I worship. Worshiping is very, very important. Please don't ever forget to worship. You need to worship. Worship If you like whatever church there is, and if you Zalwani, if you ZCC, if you Postola, if you whatever church that worship, I know that any Christian church we worship. So worship to your Lord. Worship Him. Worship. Worship. The fourth one is lifestyle of repent. Ah, lifestyle of repentance. To repent. To repent. To repent. Lifestyle to repent. When I say lifestyle, there are two types of Christians. We have lukewarm Christians and we have fully Christians who are committed their life and devote their life to the Lord. So, lifestyle of repentance means that there you need to change your ways to live so that you can grow spiritually remember the thing here is to grow spiritually you need to change the things your the things that you live in your daily routine has to change because now you have to add prayer now you have to add worship to your daily routine which is something you were not doing before so you need to change that you need to cut off some people and some things the lord is saying to us it is right to stay pure because not because it's what is right it's because for us to stay pure that's what the lord is saying so you need to change you need to change you need to repent and when you repent there's some things that are going to change in your life you're no longer going to go to clubs you are no longer going to like some things that you were liking before. You are no longer going to be interested in some conversations anymore. You are no longer going to be interested in some trips that you and the girls were taking. You are no longer, because when you do what? You are a changed person. When you are a spiritual person, you listen to the spirit in whatever. Show me, we are going on a girl's trip. Baby girl, you don't just go. Ah. You don't just go. You ask, can I go? Is it worth it? Does it, you know, you can't just pack your bags in. You are not like anybody. This piri say, you are a changed person. That's why we say lifestyle of repentance. Your lifestyle will change. The food that you eat, you have to change. The, the words that you used to talk, you can't use the F words anymore. You can't use the S word anymore, you know, because you are, you cannot grow spiritual. Remember the power of the tongue, whatever that you say with the tongue, you know. The sixth one is fellowship with the Holy Spirit. That's, I think that's the last one. Fellowship in the, yeah fellowship with the holy spirit by fellowship i just mean that 
I don't know which church do you go to, but whatever church that you go to, you know this fellowship. Fellowship give a lot Give a lot while you must be present in your church. You cannot tell me, yeah, there are a lot of people who work at Kabari. Yeah, like I'm a Christian, Christian, but I don't go to church. Can I 10 years without going to church? And I was like, okay, because it's not my place to judge. But the Lord speaks about fellowship because Liana, his disciples were following him. But that's fellowship. That's why I say fellowship in the Holy Spirit. So when you must be led, you must allow, open your heart and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you so that you can grow spiritually. When you're trying to grow yourself spiritually, you don't do a lot of things. You just listen to the Holy Spirit. It will speak to you. It, it, as long as you do the th six, six things that I said you must do, you will tell me your life is going to change forever. Your life is going to change forever and you are not going to regret it. You're going to see a lot of revelations. Revelations will be brought to you by the Holy Spirit. Your life is going to drastically change and you will be surprised. Fellowship is very important. You must be allowed because in the Lord we have a Holy Spirit Father. We have a Heavenly Father in Him. So your Father is someone who 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 leads you? Who tells you no, Nana? There, uh -uh. Nana, uh -uh. go. You see? Wow. Well, so if you don't allow the fellowship in the Holy Spirit, that's why I'm saying my last point is fellowship in the Holy Spirit. You must allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. <coughs> so, guys, that's what I was saying. Please read your Bible. Please pray because if 2024, if you want to change your life in 2024. You better start praying you better start you better listen to this video to the end because i have all the best tips to help you grow spiritually so guys thank you so much for listening to my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and be on the lookout for the next video because i am all about unspoken conversations and i'm a youtube storyteller i love you guys so much thank you bye